Okay, so I thought I'd go through a few tips on how to lay out a design on plastic. In this case, I've got some ABS plastic, which is two millimeter thick and uh, still has its protective covering on it. So first thing to know is that um, if you try to use a pencil, it doesn't actually leave a good mark and tends to scratch the surface. So I personally wouldn't consider using that. Biro is a little better and despite being a bit intermittent sometime, gives you a really nice fine line. But I personally, prefer either to use a scalpel and mark off points with a ruler and then score it, assuming that I'm going to snap it in half anyway. Or alternatively, if I don't want to cut something and I do want to leave a mark, then using a permanent marker is a really good one. So what that could mean is that I could lay out uh, a little design that I, I was needing to do and then I could have measured it all carefully like that, which is all fine, you get the general idea. But let's say actually I changed my mind and I wanted to um, adjust it or rub it out. Uh, one really nice technique is to use IPA, which is isopropyl alcohol, or alternatively, it's basically the same stuff as in nail varnish remover. It is a solvent, so be careful with it, and it is highly flammable. So you can take a, a, a Q-tip and you can rub out this sort of stuff like that. So although it looks a little bit messy at first, you'll find it comes off almost as good as new, like that. So that's a good tip if you're doing lots of iterative working and trying to measure around things, say you might be drawing around this and working out the right diameter, that sort of thing. So, okay, let's say you've got a, a CAD printout and I've kind of exaggerated it by colouring it in. Usually you're told in engineering drawings to put the dimensions outside, but if you know you're going to work in this style, it's actually a good idea to put the dimensions on the inside um, and, you know, even leave the, the center circle marks on. So let's say we've got a part A and a part B. We printed this out on a one-to-one -one scale and we know that it's we've measured obviously things like the thickness of the plastic, don't forget to do that. We take a little bit of the uh, spray mount and this is basically a sort of light aerosol adhesive and if you spray that on the back of it in a, either a well-ventilated area or on an extraction booth preferably, then it gives it a little bit of tackiness and would allow you to stick it down onto the plastic like that. Now, if this work, this is even handy for things like if you're working in cardboard or if you're actually going to take this up to a bandsaw or a drill or any other sort of machinery. It's really good as it holds it on and then when you're done, you just peel it off and throw it away. Or indeed you can keep it and reuse the template again and again and again for multiple pieces. So we'll just move the alcohol out of the way. And let's say that we're going to continue with our score and snap step technique that uh, is mentioned in previous tutorials. Then you can appreciate I would work through this and snap bits off like that and discard them. And if, for example, holes like this, I would drill out as well. So that's basically the general idea of how you'd create parts and assemble them. 